Water. It's a precious resource, one that all life depends on. So it's important, especially for those who get their water from wells or cisterns, to make sure their water is clean and safe to drink. Water may contain many microorganisms like E. coli and Campylobacter that can make you sick, give you stomach cramps or diarrhea, and in some cases can be life-threatening. Frequent sampling and testing of your drinking water will allow you to determine the bacteriological quality of your water supply. Monitoring your well or cistern water is important because water quality can change, especially during periods of heavy rainfall. It is recommended that you sample your well or cistern water at least seasonally and immediately following heavy rains, periods of non-use, repairs, changes to the surrounding land, or any changes in the taste, smell, or color of the water. There are a number of steps to follow to ensure successful collection of a sample. The first step is to obtain a proper water sample bottle from Public Health or one of the designated pickup locations in your area. Only water collected in these sterile containers will be accepted at the Public Health Laboratory. Sample your water when you're sure it can be delivered to the Public Health Unit or designated drop-off location on the same day as you collect it. Your water sample should not be left sitting for a long period of time at room temperature as this can lead to inaccurate test results. Wash your hands before taking a water sample. When you take a water sample, it's important to remove any equipment or attachments such as aerators or filters from your tap. Do not take your sample from an outside faucet or garden hose. Always take a sample from an indoor tap with no aerator. Turn on the cold water tap and let it run for two to three minutes. This should be enough time to remove standing water from the plumbing system. Disinfect the end of the faucet to remove debris or bacteria before collecting your sample. Use an alcohol swab or a diluted bleach solution made by mixing one part of household unscented bleach to ten parts of water. Turn on the cold water tap and let it run for two to three minutes. Reduce the water flow to a steady slow water stream to avoid excess splashing when filling the sample bottle. Remove the sample bottle lid, but be sure not to touch the inside of the lid. Do not put the lid down or rinse the bottle. Fill the bottle to the level that is clearly marked on the container and close the lid firmly. Filling out the information form that accompanies each sample is important for tracking your results. If the required fields in the form are not filled out, your sample may not be tested. After you've collected the sample, fill in the forms. Remove one of the barcode stickers on the bottle and attach it to the blue card. Print your name on the peel off tab and stick it to the back of the bottle. Insert the completed information in the plastic sleeve and wrap it around the bottle. Keep the sample cool until it is delivered to the drop-off location. Deliver the sample on the same day as you collect it or it may not be processed. Remember, proper handling leads to accurate test results. Filling out the information form that accompanies each sample is important for tracking. Your sample is now ready for submission. Frequent accurate water sampling can help prevent the serious illnesses associated with poor water quality. Protect yourself and your family by protecting your source water supply.